Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Well, this Monday we are back to the top of the workshop looking at the top performing map of the moment. And it's this one. It's a creator you've probably heard of because we have done them quite a lot recently. In fact, we've done them seven times since episode 1025. They've had one nine-star map, but that was Snowfall. Uh, one ten-star, two elevens, two twelves and a thirteen. Now, their most recent 12-star review was episode 1067, which you might recognise, especially if you watched yesterday's Viewer's Choice Top 10, because it was sat there right at the top. Yes, their most recent map was the map of the month for March. Now, can they follow that up here with another outstanding, glorious creation, or will they fall down with an egg on their face? There's only one way to find out, but first of all, this. That's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Takatulu by Egg on Your Face. Uh, Eggsy, not Egg on Your Face, where did I get that from? <laughs> Eggsy, Eggsy is back with another map, another strong map. I think you're gonna like it. There's your start square, plenty of usable space, really interesting looking intersection as well to get you started. We have fairly flat, there is a little bit of undulation, but it's a fairly flat map. Definitely a good playable map for the big city builder. Resources are very strong. Lots of farmland. In fact, we're using a theme which includes farmland theme within it because we're using a theme mix. There is your um, fishing if you've got Sunset Harbour. That's what we're looking at there. There is actually some tuna, tuna on the bottom. Tuna. <laughs> No, there isn't a tumour. There's some tuna at the bottom part of the map there. Off to the workshop, we have it's a mass transit map and also park life map. You will need both of those, otherwise your map will be broken. Uh, link there to my Discord, the fan page. Lovely, join us over there for chats and discussions and stuff. And we're using the Taka theme mix, which is obviously created for this, which includes generic temperate and uh, farmland theme. We'll be using the Relight Average LUT today, which is part of that theme mix. And there's a no catenaries rail, so I don't have to remember to switch off the catenaries on this one. No radioactive deserts, I use Move It instead. Oh, uh, not uh, Move It, I don't, I move, Hide It, the other It one. I use Hide It instead of No Radioactive, it gets the same effect done. Okay, uh, down to ground level. Now I've kind of got my head twitch it back on I'll I tell you it's been it's been a crazy crazy week uh, health wise I am struggling so badly I can barely see the screen uh, I've got the worst headache uh, mild flu affects my bottom uh, no when you have the jab you can get some major flu effects and it's all I can do to crawl out of bed at the moment but the show must go on Actually, it doesn't have to go on, but it's going on anyway, okay? But I'm going to get a break. I'm going to take a break maybe in the summer for a week or so, like we did last year. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Uh, for me, that's <laughs> so for you. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, we have a swirly about there. Uh, nicely done as well. Of course, great standards from Exe. Doesn't need, you don't need me to say great standards from Exe because we're going to be expecting great standards from Exe. Uh, we'll head off this way, I feel, today plenty of traffic on the flow already in fact plenty of traffic on the flow i think we've we've the networking is definitely going to handle what we've got coming through here but yes edge of map to edge of map traffic there's a big chunk of it at the moment and i think it's going to get worse <laughs> i think it's going to get worse before it gets better Anyway, yes, um, as a map, it's fairly flat. Not everybody likes a perfectly flat map, and it's not perfectly flat, but it is going to be one. If you're looking to do a grid city, uh, you are looking for a flat. Oh, blimey, look at the swathe of traffic here. This is like, like a slug of traffic, especially on the left. Look at this. My, uh, They've been queuing up behind tractors or something like that. I've not seen anything like that. Not, in, not from edge of map. And that's just, a, I mean, a crazy. Three, three abreast, unbelievable. Sorry, uh, not Exe's fault, that just can happen. Look, we've got a gap now without any traffic at all. It can happen, but uh, yeah, wow, just wow. Uh, yeah, so all, all told, uh, if, you, if you're if you a grid city builder or a huge city looking to do some sort of crazy Gotham style thing, 
Well, this kind of map is going to really handle that quite well for you. So there is that um, nice little road over rail bridge. No catenaries to worry about again because of the uh, the asset that we're using. It's, it's, it's deprecated, but you know what? It works, and all the while it works, that's all that really matters. Anyway, heading off now towards the edge of the map, we're going to have some rail to follow as well. Uh, while uh, there's not too much to talk about, with because um, <laughs> the standards are so good, and we're just like following a nice meandering course and stuff, let me ask you, what do you think of the new thumbnail? I'm going to try this for a little while, go for a more stylized approach rather than a ah, nice looking intersection there again, swooping and curling and, and twisting and stuff. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go and find the rail in a moment. But yes, I thought I'd go for some sort of stylized approach uh, just to see whether it catches the eye a bit more, whether it helps, because it's getting your, uh, getting your stuff seen on YouTube. It means actually catching the eye with a thumbnail. And... Um, Oh, while the, the show is doing okay, I would like to catch a few more eyes. So somewhere over here is the rail. There we go. Uh, so I've, I've decided to try this one. I think it yeah, I think it looks great. I've actually come up with some new merch over on the uh, merch store, which uh, you'll find linked in the description. And also see the merch shelf on the YouTube channel itself as well. And um, I've, I've incorporated some of this kind of... Um, stylized effect for on my three major project maps uh, Merrick Stowe, St Catherine's Point and my current map, my current map Bon Bon Island uh, which is going to still be a while before it's finished but you, you get a preview, you get a little preview at the thumbnail sort of thing if uh, if, if, you, if you head on there and have a little look but that, that's, that's oh hang on, heading towards uh, everybody's favourite factory, uh, this is a nice little set piece down here as well all, all, all um all good. Don't know what more to say about uh, this. It's it's going to always be all good. I feel uh, like the uh, the look that it appears that the rail line goes right the way through the factory there with the fake doors. Um, it does actually go all the way through the factory as well, which is a uh, oh sirens lovely. Um, if we if we move the factory just for a moment and we do that, we move it, maybe delete it We're using move it. There you go, goes right the way through. Uh, the fake doors, of course, um, inverted billboards. So that's. Uh, yeah, clever, clever use of those. Seen it done before, but it's still um, still a welcome, clever use of a vanilla asset. So yes, um, so yeah, what I'll do is I think Wednesday, I'll um, I will share with you a couple of images from uh, from the merch store, so you can see how the uh, how the, the, the new look merch works in terms of these new uh, stylized approach. I think I think it looks good. I've, I've ordered myself some mugs already because the, the mugs look pretty neat, I've got to say. Anyway, heading off towards the edge of the map now. When we come back, we'll check for the shipping routes. And I'm going to pick, pick a thread. I'm going to pick a thread on just one thing on this map. The one thing on this map I'm not really sure about. And you can tell me how very wrong that I am. Of course you can. Do your collar sacks look like this? Do you want them to look like this? Then you need the beginner's guide to the perfect cul-de-sacs by Bon Bon B. Click the information button now. And so back to Takatulu by Eggsy. I don't know where the name Takatulu come from, but well done, Eggsy. You caught the eye. Uh, it's spelt differently with um, these little dots over the O's in the thumbnails but actually in the uh, in the actual game itself it, it's it well it's Takatulu I, I like it it's, it's a lovely name okay uh, shipping routes um, yeah yeah uh, what do you want we've got shipping triangles we've got routes to go everywhere you really want them to go to uh, we have a little um, a little uh, view around here of some yeah there you go that's the one a little view down this way which goes down to the big old bridge everybody loves a big old bridge go through the middle of that one and then, uh, yeah, it's just it's just shipping routes, okay? I did say there were, and oh, I did not lie. Thank you very much that for that, Exy. Uh, water flow. Now, the water flow, looking for some. I'm looking for some. There's a little bit of motion there. Just a little bit of motion there. Is water flow going to be a problem? Has Exy dropped the ball? Well, there's pipes already down in place over here, which kind of tells you that maybe we haven't dropped the ball at all. In fact, this little cove over here, we have a pre-built uh, pumping and drawing 
and a big old spawn point in there as well. So I would say ball not dropped. Okay. Map as a whole looks great, doesn't it? We've got plenty of buildable locations, a really interesting coastline. Um, lots of dotted islands around, uh, which again look very buildable as well. So uh, if you've got ferries, maybe you want to do a little ferry service between all of these. Nice little use of the essential lighthouse and and uh, this is a nice little uh, well placed. Uh, reeds out at sea though. Um, let's assume this is a large insh inshore lake, shall we? Yeah, because reeds out at sea, maybe less so. Uh, we have, we have uh, all these dotted islands looking over here for because there are some nice little feature areas as well ah here we go we have um, pre-built power now wouldn't it be truly embarrassing if there was no wind at this location it does look like it's on a bit of a hill ah eggsy let's see if you drop the ball can we embarrass you with ah there is wind there there you go that's fine it's fine these are the little things i look for to try and drop a top creator a star or two just to really just like to needle them you know i, I do it deliberately to wind them up <laughs> we've got toll booths and um and it looks like a border fence as well there as well so there's no avoiding playing your tolls you have to go through the toll booth very neat very neat oh here's this little water drawer so yeah you've got drawing and you've got pumping in here as well um lots of uh green foliage around the outside very interesting stylized look there as well and what is a fishing pier maybe i'm not sure what else that would be where does that go to doesn't go anywhere well the sewage pumping into here and fresh water pumping out of here and good strong water flow out i don't know if they're going to get many fish in there so i don't know what that is there for but um it's there and it's nicely done for what it is now, the thread I'm going to pull at is with the rivers. Okay, the rivers are good. I have no major complaints with the rivers. But I question all of the rocks. Where did all these rocks come from? They don't see any rocks anywhere else on the map. And surely, uh, I mean, the, the, the river has gouged the way down here. But how did they end up all being broken like this? It, it, this is the one part of the map that I don't understand. It's a good river. Maybe a little bit of rock detailing in one place or two, but all the way up the river. That's the thread I'm going to pull on, and that's where you can tell me how wrong I am. You can tell me how right I am, that this is an absolutely blinking marvellous fort. This is beautiful, okay? Uh, we, have a, we have a cemetery right here on the edge, which I probably would have lived without. Uh, we have the park life fence. This is why you need park life. Without park life, that fence is going to break your entire map. Then um, some very nice detailing out here and a really interesting curvaceous fort. Double entry there, very neatly done with the vanilla um, posts, the pillars, that's the word. A little bit of glitching here and there, but you know what? There will always be a little bit of rock glitching on an old-ish fort anyway. So I don't mind the little bits that I'm seeing here and there with the rocks. There are one or two other spots um uh I, I think i can live with them quite happily to be to be fair to be fair to eggsy and i do like the internal as well looks like some sort of old building which has been crumbled down over the years in the middle don't know why the exterior walls didn't crumble i don't know maybe they were built more solidly i guess then we have a path leading down to um a pier again very neatly done as well a little bit of water on the beach but you get water on beaches so i don't suppose we can complain too much about that one right what more can we look at before we start getting excited before we start ah here we go look at all these islands they're all very similar all very, apart from that big one at the top why is that so very different now here's where we're going to have to suspend some disbelief and come up with our own story all of the trees here are very dead very very dead indeed I reckon there has been some sort of nuclear meltdown or a meteorite strike or something that has just like killed. You just see where it transfers across here as well. Oh, that's, that's, that's paint your own story on that, I think. Um, it's interesting and I'd like to have seen a clue as to what it is rather than leaving it totally to our imagination. Like uh, maybe just a factory in the middle with some burnt trees around the outside. It was just something that would would lead us to what would have actually have caused that to happen. But um, but it's still very neatly done. A nice idea. A nice idea to have a dead island. We have a lake down here near the start square as well. It's um, sunken in a little bit deeper than I expected it to be. But 
Um, it is very aesthetic once you're down and in it. And I did say start square, so I suppose we should have a look at today's asset of the day. It's a full set. It's the Charles Street Manufacturing Set 1 by Clements. Each and every single building you see here is a different building within the set. Like you have those two, you get a, a middle one and an end one you can put on each end of them. Uh, different shapes, different sizes. You can create whatever shape or design that you like. I just used them all together and seen what came together in form of a jigsaw. But yeah, you can do something a lot more creative than I have here. Clements, this is amazing work. Absolutely amazing. Um, and factoids, because factoids. Now, um, this one, I'm going to start, I'm going to make this factoid a question. Uh, a few of you may well know, but the national flag of Italy was actually designed by a very famous person from history. Who be that person? And I'll let you think on that for a moment. Uh, anybody from Italy, I, I could think of one or three, um, might be screaming at, <laughs> might be screaming at their monitor now. <laughs> can't, can't write quickly enough. Anyway, this is very nice work. Uh, Charles Street Manufacturing a Set 1 by Clements. Asset pack of the day there. The answer to the question, Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand, but anybody knows the backstory, let me know in the comments. Genuinely interested. But anyway, yes, um, Takatulu here. Now, there's one last thing I want to take a look at before we go to the ratings. And it's this little weird area over here. Much like the River Rocks, I don't really understand this. Again, I think it looks amazing. I think it looks really, really interesting. Adds an interesting area to the map. But what sort of geological formation has formed this? We've got a very straight coastline. We don't see any of this sort of island anywhere else on the map. And it's just for me a very odd choice. Again, it looks great, but geologically it doesn't fit and there doesn't seem to be any reasoning for it, any explanation. It's just good work. It just doesn't add up to me. Anyway, anyways, right. I think we head towards the start square now, which means I'm sure you are ready with that clicky button to head on over to the voting page. That's right. Is this a one star map? Is it a five star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10. Will Eggsy have the map of the month two months running? Only you can decide. Click that I button now in the top right hand corner of your screen. It'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. But what do I think of today's map? Well, I think aesthetically it's pretty strong and I was erring towards giving this a very solid middle four. I'm confused by, more so by the river. The river distracts me a little bit. I mean, that little island patch there, it's kind of out of the way a little bit. I can live with that. But the river is kind of key to the map. It goes through the heart of the map and I'm confused by it. So I'm still going to go four stars, but I'm going to go middle low four. For that one. Detailing, of course, is strong across the map. I would go higher, but it just doesn't quite come together for me. There's so many like little threads that don't really tie up, but it's still, for me, a solid four-star map. The standards are good. Gameplay potential, pretty playable, I would say. Pretty playable. Um, it doesn't attract me to want to play it personally. It doesn't have that little je ne sais quoi, but I'm, gonna go for, I'm still going to go for a high four. It feels like a high four star map for playability. And with lots of fours, it's usually a seal of approval. And I think we can definitely go with that today. It does feel like a strong playability map with some decent visuals and very good standards. It, it's all in place. Uh, Exley definitely knows what they're doing now. They've definitely got the hang of this map making lark, I'll tell you. Anyway, uh, that's about it from today. And oh, look, they're, they're on the screen now. There they go. Thanks for your support, Exy. <laughs> I've been Bomb Bomb <laughs> If you're still here, you are part of the 20 and out elite. Uh, use the word of the day into the comments. Score yourself some population points just for fun. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. Tomorrow is, of course, request day. Who has requested that one?